All right, so just made it up to Holly Oaks for some wheeling and uh, weather conditions don't look too bad. The wind looks like it may be a problem with setting up like the tripod and everything like that. But besides that, it looks like it's gonna be a good couple hours of wheeling. I wanted to test out that locker and I couldn't wait for uh, opening weekend of Roxon Valley. So here we are. So hope you hope you guys enjoy the video. That don't even look bad. No, it's really not. It's more like overwhelming when you look at it.
Yeah, I have a ground clearance issue. Not even close to making that whatsoever. Oh, we'll hook a winch. Yep. Damn. It's just not letting you just keep that line and go over the tire. Yeah, I don't even know if that's even possible in a two-door. If someone did this in a two-door, I'd like to see it. That's this obstacle right here. All right, a little bit more driver. Looks good. Hold on. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're fully aired up. <laughs> I forgot about that. Like you can't do like anything without being it like with it without it being like brutal, like coming off. Alright. Alright. I was gonna say that's a little rowdy. <laughs> that's an axle breaker. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Then right there. Maybe right there, like where you're at. Cause now you're kind of, try it. I mean, no, never mind. Or, hold on. That's not. <laughs> Cause I saw the tire was trapped and I'm like, that's just, that's just not gonna be a good day.
does it for today's video. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun experience. The locker, I mean, it handled incredible. I tried some lines where I felt miserably open diff, and of course I learned the locker doesn't make it a completely different jeep. It makes a difference, but overall, like, I had ground clearance issues with that obstacle, so I backed out from it, got winched out, but either way, like, the backside of Magma, there's that one line I usually run, that one I was actually able to do pretty good with that locker, I had to basically roast the tires to get all the mud off of it, because it was like a mud fest. But uh, after that, yeah, it handled perfectly fine, no problems at all. Like, so far from what I've seen with that locker, like, I'd say that the Aussie locker was definitely worth, like, the money and my time for putting it into this Jeep. And um, it was, it made a hell of a difference for sure. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm done rambling. Pretty much y'all, you already saw what you wanted to see. If you're still watching, I'm surprised you didn't even click off this video yet. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.